All this week, we're taking you to the world's northernmost and fastest warming community of Svalbard, Norway. After meeting the people who live there and seeing what scientists are learning there, you will better understand what's happening where we live. This is On The Dot with me, David Schechter. Got my attention. Tonight we are starting a week-long series, as you just heard, about the impact of warming temperatures here and around the world. And a little bit of perspective as we get underway. Winter in Dallas is nearly five degrees warmer on average since 1975. And experts say that trend is going to continue and the Arctic will continue to warm even faster. That makes your head spin. We're trying to keep up with it also tonight. David Schechter is explaining how the Arctic warming affects weather everywhere. <laughs> Svalbard is the northernmost community in the world, which makes it home to the northernmost pub, the northernmost brewery. You guys make good beer. <laughs> and the northernmost cafe. New rule, all coffee shops must have huskies. The Arctic is warming three to four times faster than the rest of the world. And that's why we're here. In Svalbard, they have these cold, deep ocean inlets. They're called fjords. And when I was here in early 2000s, the fjord out here froze. It doesn't anymore. Anna Schweblom is a meteorologist at the University Center in Svalbard. Why is it warming so much faster here than other places on the planet? Uh, I think the biggest thing is that we have the ice around here, especially over the ocean. So let's talk about sea ice. Anna is saying when ocean water is covered by ice and snow, most of the sun's rays bounce back into the atmosphere. That shields the water below from the heat of the sun. But in a warmer Arctic, ice and snow are melting. Now the sun can hit open water and heat it up. As the warmth spreads, it helps melt more snow and ice. It's a loop that just keeps going. So if we start this sort of feedback process, it goes really quickly. So if, if it's warmer here at the pole, how does that affect me in Los Angeles or in Miami or something like that? We want it to be cold at the poles and we want it to be warm at the equator. And if you don't have that, you won't have the same type of weather patterns. Most of our weather in the US is dictated by something called the jet stream. Basically, it's fast moving winds that travel horizontally high in the atmosphere. The jet stream is most stable when there's big differences in temperature between cold air and warm air. As the Arctic warms and the temperature difference shrinks, the jet stream can get wobbly and slow down. Emerging research suggests that may lead to slower weather patterns that stick around longer, potentially leading to more persistent cold and hot weather, even dry and wet weather. But if that balance is starting to change, then of course everything else will start to change as well. And we'll get a completely new type of normal, if you put it like that. Uh, and that's probably something the world isn't ready for. No question about that. Professor Schechter is here. <laughs> you learn so much when you stop by, first of all. I love coming to Thank see you, you guys. No, it's, it's, it's so good to be educated on all of this. And so you go all the way to Norway. Uh, we, we see the, the woman you spoke with there, obviously. Yeah. I'm quite sure you've probably met a whole bunch of people along your travels. Yeah. What, what, what was the interesting takeaway in terms of like maybe who grabbed your attention yeah. most? Well, we met a, a, there was this one scientist, a glaciologist. His name is Jack. Jack Kohler, uh, he took us on a helicopter to see the melting glaciers, which was awesome, and also sort of humbling to see what's been happening there. He's been working on Svalbard for 25 years, and what he kind of helped me understand is that in just in my own lifetime, that the warming in Svalbard is warm 13 degrees, like in a lifetime, and it's pretty wild to see that. And so. Um, he says what happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic, mm -hmm. unlike Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. So that was the whole purpose of what we're doing here to understand that it so, feels so far away and it takes mm -hmm. a long time to get there. But the impacts are very. It's all connected. It's all yeah. connected. It's all connected. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. That was a real. I'm, I'm very. I want to see the rest of the piece. I'm I like watching intrigued. you watch it. I know. I was, I was learning we were a lot. Intrigued. Hope yeah. you guys were as well watching it. Yeah. Uh, more to come this week. We look forward to All it. All week. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay, buddy. Thank you, David. Good Checker. to see you guys. Thank you. We Good to see you, David. It. We always get a little smarter when he stops by. We sure do. I'm thankful for that.